Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. And welcome back to another 5 Facts video, this time on Guru Teg Bahadur Ji Shahidi. You can find a cool animation on that story right here. Fact number 1, The Haunted Mansion. So remember when Emperor Aurangzeb's soldiers escorted Guruji to Delhi? Well, on their way, the convoy passed a mansion. But this wasn't just any mansion. It was famous for being haunted, and none of the locals would dare go near it. Seizing an opportunity to scare Guru Teg Bahadurji, the soldiers took Guruji inside. The house was pitch black, and it wasn't long before, you guessed it, a ghost made its way to Guruji. But instead of attacking, the ghost bowed at the feet of Guru Teg Bahadurji and asked for a chance to serve. The ghost teleported to a local market and brought back some fruit and sugar cane for Guruji. And Guruji explained that the ghost had been given this scary form as punishment because the ghost had attachment to property in their previous life. Interestingly, Guru Granth Sahib Ji mentions this too. Antakala jo mandara simre aisi chinta mahe je mare pret jon val val autare. Pleased with their service, Guruji blessed the ghost to be free and merged back with the one. Fact number two, Salog Mahala Nava. We all know this famous Shabbat, but did you know it was written whilst Guru Teg Bahadur Ji was in prison? The Sikhs of Anandpur Sahib were so sad to hear Guruji was in prison. They sent a messenger so Guruji could write them letters of comfort. And so, Guru Teg Bahadur Ji began writing their final message for their Sikhs. Now imagine you had to give a final message to your loved ones. What would you tell them? Guru Teg Bahadur Ji started their message by saying, Guna Gobinda Gayo Nahi Janama Akara Thakin That if you don't sing the praises of the One Creator, your life is useless. Guru Ji then says, Kahu Nanaka Har Pajmana Jehibida Jal Says the light of Guru Nanak Dev Ji, immerse yourself in the one, like a fish in the water. Guruji went on to write 49 saloks for their six. Salok number 50 and 51 were for their mother, Mata Nanaki Ji, and salok number 52 was for their wife, Mata Gujiri Ji. Verse 53 was very interesting indeed. This was a test for their son, Siri Gobind Rai. Guru Dev Bahadur Ji tests their son by telling them that Guruji had no strength left. To which Siri Gobind Rai responds with their own verse, saying that their father has the power to do anything as they are the form of the one. Pleased with their son's response, Guru Dev Bahadur Ji sent a coconut, five coins, and sent three verses back with another messenger to signify the passing of the Guruship to Guru Gobind Rai Ji. The Singh came a little later on. Want to hear these salogs for yourself? Then check out this amazing video and look out for the fish. Fact number three. Three grains of pepper. Now, Emperor Aurangzeb was hell bent on converting the whole world to one faith, Islam. Hearing this, Guru Dev Bahadur Ji requested a huge pile of pepper to be burnt. Once the fire eventually died, only three grains of pepper remained. Guru Dev Bahadur Ji explained that two of these peppers represented Islam and Hinduism. But instead of there being only one, like the Emperor wished, a third major faith the Khalsa would now emerge. Fact number four, family ties. Now the three Sikhs who gave their lives weren't just any average people. Bhai Mati Dasji and Bhai Sati Dasji were brothers who descended from Bhai Biragaji himself, a famous Sikh of Guru Arjan Dev Ji, who is even mentioned in the Bani of Bhai Gurdasji. Urukha Biraga Sabada Adhara Bhai Mati Dasji was one of the Guru's administrators, and Bhai Sati Dasji was a writer who would write the Guru's words in Farsi. Now, Bhai Diyallah Ji was one of 12 siblings, most of whom were martyred, including Bhai Mani Singh Ji, a great Guru Sikh who gave their life by being cut into pieces instead of giving up their Sikhi, a fierce bravery that definitely ran in the family. And Guruji had so much love for Bhai Diyallah Ji, they would call them Bhai Ji and proclaim that by the Allah's words were one with the Guru. Fact number five, the free prisoner. Now imagine being a Sikh in Delhi and hearing that Guru Teg Bahadur Ji was in your city. As you probably would, many Sikhs made plans to serve their Guru, but were saddened to hear Guruji had been imprisoned. But Guruji listens to the Adlas of all, and they often left prison at will to visit their Sikhs. When the Emperor first heard that Guruji was seen leaving the home of a Sikh, he sent more soldiers to guard the prison. 
Guru Teg Bahadur Ji was the form of the one. How could they be imprisoned? Guruji would leave prison without anyone realizing, and they would go and bathe in the river and eat langar with their Sikhs. Even the emperor's guards bowed down and begged Guruji to stop leaving the prison, as the guards were scared for their own lives. And Guruji could do as they pleased, but sacrificing their life in such a way was the will of the one, and this sacrifice would lead to the birth of the Khalsa. And Guru Gobind Singh Ji describes his father's sacrifice like so. For the sake of righteousness, he sacrificed himself. He laid down his head, but not his beliefs. So, there you go. Five facts you may not have known about Guru Teg Bahadur Ji Shahidi. Let's have a quick recap. Fact number one, Guruji entered a haunted mansion and was served by a ghost. Fact number two, Salok Mahalanava consists of Saloks written on letters sent by Guruji to the six of Anandpur Sahib and even included a test for their son. Fact number three, Guruji had a pile of pepper burned to show the emperor that instead of converting all Hindus to Islam, a third faith, the Khalsa, would now emerge to coexist alongside them. Fact number four, Bhai Mati Dasji, Bhai Sati Dasji, and Bhai Dialaji had strong family trees full of great Sikhs and martyrs. Fact number five, Guruji left prison many times to visit their Sikhs. They left so many times that the guards begged Guruji to stop in case they got in trouble with the emperor. Did you learn something new today? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. And please forgive all the mistakes made in this video. Vahe Guruji ka khalsa, Vahe Guruji ki If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Please donate and help spread Guruji's message. Link is in the description below. Vahe Guruji ka khalsa, Vahe Guruji ki fateh. Vahe Guruji ka khalsa, Vahe Guruji ki fateh.